Afternoon all. It's a midweek Monday special. There's a bit quiet. Got to watch Coventry play uh, Cardiff at home in an hour and a half time. So I thought, what I'll do, let's do a bit of a horse racing midweek special just to make up the week. But you know, we've got mega things going to happen this week. Wednesday, Scotch Corner. Thursday is going to be me, Terry, my number two, Simon, my number three. We're down at Laura's Bar at 10 in the morning, and that will go out a little bit later on in the afternoon, talking about all the Premiership and the Championship from the last weekend and this weekend. And it's Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. Hope you have your last day and have a cracking day. Weather here is absolutely shocking. Uh, very dull, very dreary, probably down to 19, 20 degrees. But for us who live here, residents, it's absolutely fantastic. And on Monday, don't forget, we go live. I go live at Laura's Bar. And uh, last week was windy, so we went down to the three horseshoes in my little manor. And we had a cracking morning with Toddy. What well to Toddy. Now, if you haven't subscribed to me, this is Webby Sports Roundup. My name's Paul Webb, as most people know. Lived here, lived here for 30 years. Three bars, as everybody knows. Simon's been here 14 years in two bars. I've doubled him and I've beat him. Easy, ain't it? He's a gooner. Anyway, what we're going to do today... If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It is for free. And hit the like button. If you like what you see, you like why you're here, just do all the bits and pieces. And what we've got to do, the Facebook page with Foggy. It's sort of slowed down a little bit. Need to increase um, the variety on that, please. Now, any sports bars over there in Tenerife, where I live, I'm going to be dropping around to them the next couple of days, taking me gimbal, etc., etc. If you want to be advertised all for free, tell me to pop in. So you've got to go to Webby Sports Roundup in south of Tenerife and don't forget give Foggy some love he's my number 99 a big Tottenham fan for his sins so give him some love Worthy Sports Roundup here in sunny cloudy Tenerife today right without further ado as I said it's a Monday afternoon and what we're going to do we're going to live a bit of horse racing news um, just to sort of peek it up a little bit you know from Saturday and so forth yeah you know that was a boom right I've got another new contact Beverly Bryan is called. Only met him once in the Monte Cristo a couple of weeks ago. A lovely, lovely fellow. Knows a lot about the horses. So, got a phone number switched. He messages me, I message him. Right. Gave me a winner last a week Saturday, as you know. Um, at Donny. It was a winner at four to one. An absolute cracking boom. Fallon Jr. brought it home, I think from Mark Johnson, if I remember, on Montesib. Now, watch this. Yeah, you know, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Let's swap it over. There's my board head. There it is. There's my cat. What do you want? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't see, can't see. Can you see that? There it is. So, shall I leave that one for the rest of the show? Right, first and foremost, let's have a look. There it is. I think I'll show it before, actually. To Webby, best wishes, Kieran Fallon. That's the dad. That's daddy Kieran Fallon. One of my favourite ever jockeys. And the sun is superb as well. Put me red and back on because it's... Um, yeah, it fits better, doesn't it? Right. So one and two, um, Beverly. Um, oh, the boss here. One and two, Beverly Bryan. Absolutely super. Now, he's, he, we did have them for last weekend, but um, it was a non-runner because of the weather. Uh, it was a bit rainy, uh, muddy conditions. He says very difficult this time of year, Webby. So obviously, um, so they took him out of the race. Now he sent me a message a couple of days ago, and I just say anything for about April or next week or two. And he's basically said, April is known as bubble month, which means all the well-bred horses from last year, they had one or two tough races at the end of last season. Then what happens is they put them to bed for the winter and they bring them back out in April, which obviously April today. Have you had an April Fool's Day today? I haven't. They daren't bear it, they? Anyway, so they put away for the uh, winter for the classic aspirations. And that's why it's called bubbles burst, because they come back and they're not good enough. It's as simple as that. So it's very difficult to give tips or very good fancies for this time of the year. Right, I'm gonna throw it over. So um, I'll keep in touch with him. So Beverly Bryan, speak to soon, big man. And anything comes around, give it to me and I'll pass on to all my viewers. Right, my other good pal, Lee Sobot, as you all know, um, he gave us one last Saturday. He works for the Yorkshire Evening Post. Top Leeds United fan. He goes all around the, around the uh, country with them. Anyway, he gives me a fancy every single week. Up to about three or four weeks ago, we've not had a winner. But anyway, Saturday, I forgot about it. Watching a bit of footy, 
and this has come through, it went boom, where the top man, one and Lee, Haydock 205, it was Brentford Hope, um, and it won it five to two, so well done to that big man. And he works for the Yorkshire Evening Post. It was at Haydock, the 205 at Haydock, and uh, Brentford Hope won it five to two, so that's a great, great boom. So well done, big man, absolutely super. Just give you a couple of quick stories. On the horse racing, as you know, that um, for the amount of years I lived here, I used to have a gentleman called Mike Gibson. He used to come in my pub many, many moons ago. And um, he owns Gibson Saddles, which is at Newmarket, which um, Ash, who, know, who lives near there, is going to do a couple of videos for me and take a few photographs. Him and his wife, Margaret, a lovely, lovely couple. And they used to get me bits and pieces of... Um, memorabilia this is i don't know too sure if i showed you this one before but if we go back to that i don't know if you can see that can you see that if you have a look that is frankie de Tory when he won the derby unauthorized back in 2007 um, i think it was june the 5th or june the 2nd or something for um peter chapel Hyam. won the race and if you look on there again, that's the saddle. There is the straps. So that's the straps that won the derby with Frankie de Tory. There's the new ones that pull on, and that's on the desk where they worked on. So I've got those from himself. And as you see, uh, Queensbury Road, Newmarket, Suffolk, and they do all the Queens. So when you see the Queens colors, you know my pal, Mike Gibson, and his son Carl now runs the show and runs the shop at Newmarket just next to Tata stores. I've been invited many times, never gone. I've got to go one day, I really, really have. Um, so on top of that, he's the one that got me the Kieran Fallon cap as well. Some great, great stuff. I've got lots of other memories um, that's a memorabilia that he's given me. Um, as you know, with I've got Lester Pig, I've got one or two other bits and pieces. Now, last but not least, before we close the shot for the uh, Monday midweek special, if you look at that, Mike and Margaret, 12th of January, 2009. Dear Paul, I enclosed a set of leathers which were Leicester Piggott's. Um, I thought you would like them as they are unique and very, uh, and he had very quite, uh, what was it? Uh, he was quite tall and you can see where he buckled, how he sh uh, short he rode compared to most of the other jockeys. Also encloses an article of a horse in hound magazine, which I've got inside the house, which uh, listed the shop as one of the top 10 in the country. Kind of regard, see you in March. And that was from Mike and Margaret from Newmarket. That is Gibson Saddles. Top, top fella. And I did show you, you know, a couple of weeks ago, the stuff I've got from um, Frank when he got me signed by Henry Cecil, Tom Queeley, one in a million. Well, I'm the only person who's got me level Um Oh, things wrapped right next door. But it's nice and quiet. So anyway, listen, any more fancies, any more little tips, then Please stay tuned to Webby Sports Roundup and I'll give them as soon as I can. This week we've got some absolutely great appetizers uh, for you. We're going to do one or two walks in Las Americas, down by the bars, the Galway Girl, to the Hopping Grapes, to the Sky Bar, to Scallywags, etc, etc. Do little vlogs there. Uh, all the sports bars, we're going to go to Fania Bay. We've got Scott's Corner on Wednesday. I've got the three boys our three musketeers terry and simon my number two number three that will be done on thursday friday is as i told you is my life lots of things happening and fingers crossed i might have an ex football player and ex football manager to do a 15 question and answer with a little bit of interview as well that could be coming up in two weeks time and last but not least don't forget alan homemade vlogs logistics manager up at royal true which is the 152nd Open Golf Championship up there in Scotland. Fantastic. Alan was the logistics manager back, uh, I think it was 2007 or 2008, when Strauss won it. And we've got the cap, and that's going to be one of the, the um, presents or one of the items that we're going to give away uh, as a prize, which is absolutely fantastic. And we'll try and get you something else. So Alan Homemade Vlogs, if you've not subscribed to him, please subscribe to that man as well. We're in partnership for Royal Troon Open Golf Championship. Right from now, 
right up until when it starts, which is July the 14th to July the 21st. And I'm so looking forward to it. Check any vlogs that I've done last week, the week before. There's one or two on there already. There's a couple of crackers from last Friday and last Thursday. Please do. And don't forget, watch Dawn's Sunday yesterday morning with my little dog, Buster. Absolutely super. So, right, without further ado, all I'm going to say is thank you for tuning in. Uh, it's a cracking afternoon. Lovely weather, which is nice. Not for the holiday makers, but us residents absolutely love it when it's a little bit cloudy. So what I'm going to say is, if you like what you hear, hear like what you see, subscribe to Webby Sports Roundup in cloudy Tenerife today on a Monday. It's a Monday special. And any more horses, we'll give him. We had a great boom. Two on the bounce, four to one and a five to two. You've got to watch your space. So from me, Webby, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, all.